both my children will live. Mom! <laughs> what are you doing? Thea, I love you. <laughs> Close your eyes, baby. <laughs> no! You possess true courage, Moira. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. You did not pass that on to your son. It's just such a strange thing to learn that there's a whole other world, I guess, where I died. The people that knew my son best tell me that when Oliver sacrificed himself during the crisis, that somehow he's the reason that everything changed. That the world we're living in right now is a kind of gift from him. I'm just trying to process it. I, I think we're all still trying to process it. Not only Oliver's death, but what he leaves behind. It's a hell of a legacy. You're not just a city of heroes, a world of heroes. When I started this project, it was intended to explore the history and the pitfalls of vigilantism in Star City. I never thought this documentary would have to be retooled to be a memorial. Nothing really ever um, happens the way you expect it to happen. And that was uh, certainly the case with Oliver and his mission. He always said he would go it alone. And that the mission would never be over. I'm glad he was wrong about the first part. Heartbroken he was wrong about the second. Thank you. That was very moving. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, man. You all right? Everything good. Why do I get the sense that answer disappoints you? <laughs> I just can't believe it. Let's go.